my oh my, one division. You definitely don't make it easy, do you? Uh, if you're wondering why I'm doing it now, uh, it's getting interesting, so stay tuned. Uh, but, episode 8, turmoil of events, uh, a lot of shit. Definitely with the most emotional episode that I've seen. But, it's not the best. Uh, but today, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to review One Division episode 8. So, let's start off with my rating of the episode. Out of 10, I would have to. I'd have to give it a 7. I feel like the thing that saves it is how emotional it is, how it made me real reevaluate. One division as a whole. Um, the episode was just so emotional. We got to see some of Wanda's back uh, backstory. Got to see how she became Wanda and how she got her powers. Basically, um, this is definitely throwing a lot of curveballs. Um, if you know uh, a guy that's been on the channel a lot, LG Pixels said that. Atmosphere's controlling everything, and they kind of proved that she was. And then episode 8 just <laughs> deleted all of that. Wanda made the hex and everything. She controlled everything, even Agatha said. So, I mean, LG, sorry, but you're wrong, pal. But yeah, um, we open in Massachusetts in 1693. Uh, but yeah, um, we come back at the start of the episode to Anatha and Wanda. Um, Agatha wants to figure out how Wanda created the Hex and uses her children against her to pretty much um, get the answers out of her. and. Pretty genius, if I do say so myself. Um, obviously, I feel like children. Well, if you use a person's child against them, they'll do anything from. Unless you're an evil bastard, then no. I'll sort that out in a second. But um, after this, we see Wanda in her home with her mother and father, talking about sitcoms and. Um, Good time, they'll argue over which it come to watch. Um, and then we saw that we saw that the explosion does the explosion that killed both Agatha's mother and father. Um, we saw a Stark Industries weapon near Wanda. Um, obviously, we could tell that her power stopped them. The explosion. Um, but she thinks that it's just because it's a fake or if, um, it didn't go off. Um, So, Agatha after that just mocks Wanda over the trauma. Um, obviously, Wanda thinks it's a dud, but it wasn't, it was just her powers saving it. Um, then, after this, we see a door to Wanda's right with the Hydra logo on. Uh, she's very hesitant to go in. Uh, Agatha says, the only way forward is back. And that's very true, if you think about it. Um, we see a chamber. I won't call it a chamber, I'll call it just an experiment room. Um, we can see on the right side of the stage area that the room is in. We can see the scepter with the milestone in it. Um, this part of the life I could have called her rebellious years. Um, uh, she mocks Wanda's uh, 
uh, was deaf by um, pointed out to wonder that basically her solution to her parents' death was to join an anti-freedom terror organisation. Uh, this is where we get to see her transform into and into Scarlet Witch and get her powers basically. Uh, we see Loki's scepter which holds a mind stone which gives her the powers and she touches it, it turns yellow, it explodes into kind of like a supernova. Um, she looks up, there's a silhouette of a person gliding down to her. Uh, but before I fully identify who it is, the light disappears. Um, and then after that we see her watching the Brady Bunch in her cell. Um, and then Agatha tells Wanda that the Infinity Stone didn't grant the powers, it just amplified what have died on the vine, as she says. Um, after this, uh, we see another door open, Wanda walks through, and this is the first time we see Wanda and Vision really connected. Uh, it's at the Avengers compound, I think just before Civil War, uh, she's watching Malkin in the middle, um, she says, um, the one that's talking to Agatha, the one that's talking to Agatha says that Pietro is dead and she's in a new country, she's all alone. And then we see a moment between Wanda and Vision watching the TV show and then bonding over it. Um, obviously, um, these two are very awkward and they are around each other still. Um, Vision laughs in awkwardness at the show. Uh, Wanda tells him that it was funny. And there were a moment about that. Uh, and then Wanda just wanted Vision back, which cuts to uh, the Sword headquarters. Um, obviously, news footage she just informed us that the blip ended. You'll see at the bottom. Um, so this means that Wanda had just come back from a five year, um, I won't call it a vacation to be exact, um, but she wanted to, uh, as she said in her own words, give Vision a proper funeral. But, you know, she says that he deserves a funeral at least, she says, I deserve it. So I feel like Wanda's kind of acting out of spite here. Um, I feel like the only reason she's done this is to help her not vision. Um, the dude that's behind the counter says, two left and a right, she lets herself in. Um, she marches down the door, well, marches down the hall to room 101, which is where the room opens and his side is uh, Director Hayward. He introduces himself, uh, walks through the door, I don't know what I'm doing here, I'm just clicking through my notes. Um, walks through the door, shows her a down view of Vision's body, she doesn't know it yet. Um, Wanda's confused, like, what he's showing me. Um, and then Hayward reveals to you, to her that they are dismantling Vision. Um, Wanda wanted to bury Vision, but Hayward just can't allow her to dispose three billion pounds worth of vibranium. Um, Wanda blasts through the glass, touches Vision's head, and just starts tearing up and saying, "I can't feel you." Um, she marches out the room after that. It's furious and just emotional to a T. Uh, she walks out the room, marches back to her sensible car, her Buick, um, in the parking lot. Uh, she got she sees an empty envelope in the passenger seat. She drives to New Jersey, gets to Westview. Uh, goes around the area, sees some of the characters recognise Herb, Miss Hart. Um, I can't think of any of the other stuff we saw. 
Um, but she gets to a kind of acre of land. Uh, it looks like it was started to be built, but stopped for some reason. Maybe because of blip. Um, the driveway looks done though. So she walks onto area. Uh, she opens up the letter, and next to the address that she's got is a love heart that says to grow old in V. And I'm pretty sure we can guess that V stands for vision. Uh, she looks again at the land that she is on, uh, knowing that this could be their forever home. Starts weeping, crying, and she explodes and creates a hex. Builds everything back. She constructs everything. And she brings vision back. And the question is, obviously, how did he bring Vision back with the Maya Stone? Maybe it's just her memory of Vision with the Maya Stone. Maybe the Maya Stone isn't actually a real thing, and that's just Wanda just manipulating Vision to think he's actually using the powers. Um, Wanda, emotional, but doesn't show it to Vision. Um, start kissing on the... Uh, start kissing on cars watching TV. Um, and then after that we see some lights we see fog and then um, I'm the front row uh, she starts shouting bravo bravo disappears and then we hear Billy and Tommy side scream for Wanda she runs outside uh, and Agatha is floating with some sort of snares around the necks She's wearing her, I think it's her comic outfit, I'm not too sure. But, um, yeah, after that, um, we have Agnes's dialogue, which I can't really remember much of. But the thing I can remember is Agatha finally saying, and that makes you the Scarlet Witch. Cut to the credits. There was a mid credit sequence where we see Hayward operating outside of Westview. Uh, there's a team saying that it's ready to launch. Uh, Hayward says it's about time. Um, but he's saying that we've pulled it apart, tried millions of different power sources. Um, but they realised all they need was energy from directly from the source which is Mind Stone and also we know Wanda's powers were amplified by the Mind Stone so she basically have the powers of the Mind Stone now um, and then we see a drone that is glowing uh, with Wanda's powers on it um, and obviously we know that drone belongs to Stark Industries so that means not only have they taken control of Vision they can take control of all of Stark Industries properties um, we pan and we see an uh, all white rec replica of Vision in a glass box, opens his eyes, looks at his hands and roll the credits. So overall I would give this episode a 7 out of 10. Um, the reason I'd give this 7 out of 10 is because one, I thought like this is just like a recap or revision for a final exam knowing me I can relate to that it's just it's like revision just quickly going over everything for the final finale but I thought that episode 8 and 9 would be like Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows part 1 part 2 epic fights epic stories but it's not um, but then I saw on Twitter um, a tweet from Album Studio saying only two episodes left episode 8 is now live so I don't know. I don't know if there's ten episodes or nine episodes. It's confusing me now. Um, obviously, Poe on LG Stream, which go watch. It's on like two thousand views now. It's fucking nuts. Um, he says something about this, and I didn't believe him. But now it's just confusing me as hell. And but yeah, I'd give this a seven out of ten. Um, 
the emotional factor really saved it for me and if I'm being honest besides from the emotional trauma that I saw and just the brilliant acting of uh, Elizabeth Folsom in this episode and also Agatha uh, just always being great in these episodes I don't think this episode would be as good just honestly um, besides from looking into it deeper looking into the emotional side of everything it weren't really that enjoyable honestly but I'll still give it a 7 because it made me feel things it made me look into my own soul try and relate to it which is what you need in something like this especially in Marvel um, but uh, with, that, with that being said uh, one division uh, obviously I haven't done reviews for the last 7 ep episodes I've kind of left that to some of my mates to do so it's a bit more contract to them but these last 2 episodes I just wanted to do myself uh, just really wanted to push out there uh, one division because I know it's fucking banging it at the moment um, but if you want me to quickly rank the other episodes episode 1 4, episode 2, 5, episode 3, 7, episode 4, 8, episode 5, 8, episode 6, 9, episode 7, 9. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, um, that is the end of the review. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the review. Thank you for watching. Bit of a different camera angle, I know. Uh, bit of problems today's been a fucking madness uh, my cat uh, crushed his foot um, busy with school and shit so hope you all understand um, but yeah really exciting month next month um, yeah I can't I can't wait honestly Falcon up with a soldier I'm going to be doing the shit out of that um because that was the most anticipated uh, Disney Plus show I've been looking forward to. That was announced last year, well, 2019, if you know what I mean. So, I've been looking forward to that for two years, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, before you go, please make sure to click like, and when you click like, right next to it, there'll be a button that is the notification button. That could be for non personal or all. I put it on for all, so you can be notified whenever I upload. Uh, also, um, I'll be leaving the links to Chris's uh, Chris Knight of Real Beauty Thousand and LG's links in the description below as well. Could have had much stuff help me over the last couple of months. I kind of just feel like they're the, they're the main guys. They've helped me so much, so I feel like they deserve some credit for this. So, shout out to them. Links down below to their Twitter and YouTube. But yeah, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate your time. I know there's a lot better people out there. And for you to spend the time with me, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna drink some Lucas Aid and probably kill some people on a war zone. So, thank you all for watching. Um, take care and peace.